Want to know the ultimate 10 minute Shopify hack that can instantly boost your sales? Stick with me because in this video I'm gonna show you two simple widgets that can deliver real results and the best part you can set it all up fast no tech skills needed. Imagine making more money from each customer with just one small tweak to your store. Sounds good right? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in a minute but first check out this real results from a store that used this strategy. Look at this. Can you see the difference? Marketers have been using smart tricks to sell more for years and if you want your online store to succeed you will need to start using them too one of the most effective yet underused strategies is offering a free gift when customers spend a certain amount did you know that 70 percent of shoppers say that they would switch brands just to get something for free that's huge so how can we tap into this for our shopify stores don't worry i'll walk you through it step by step no need for technical skills keep on watching because in a second i'm gonna show you how you can add a free gift widget to your store without using any app you can find the section on my website see the link in the description so whenever you're gonna download the files from my site you're gonna get a folder like this you're gonna want to unzip this file and then double click the resulted file here it's gonna open up in your browser and you're gonna have the indications here start with one let's go to our store and edit code that means that we should go to our themes here under online store themes and you're gonna go to edit code. Don't get scared, I'm gonna show you exactly what you have to do. Then you can go to point number two, which says that you should create a gvp.liquid section. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do that. You're gonna wanna close this up and go to sections and create a new section. You're gonna name it gvp. You don't need to add .liquid at the end because it's already there. And we want to do it as liquid. So I'm gonna hit done. Then I'm gonna come back here and I am going to search for theme.liquid file and I'm going to insert this part before the closing of the body tag. And to do that, I'm gonna search here theme and this is my file. I'm gonna look for the body tag, which should be at the bottom, but if you want, you can just press command find or control find. Now search for slash body, and it's gonna take you exactly at the closing of the body tag. You're gonna want to add a space there and you wanna paste the section in there and you want to save. Now we have our section added to our theme and if I go to customize I'm going to be able to see it in my settings. So at the bottom here I'm going to see the GVP pop-up section which if I open I have access to all the settings that it holds. Let's add the settings for the pop-up and then I'm going to go and I'm going to create the automatic discount code that will trigger the product to become a gift. So I'm going to give a gift for all the cars that go over $200. So I want to incentivize people to spend more than $200. I'm going to set this to $200. Whenever the card reaches $200, the pop-up will show and the customer will be able to redeem his free gift. So I'm going to select now the free gift item. This is a nice addition to any of the snowboards. So I guess if you like snowboarding, you will need this wax as well. So I'm going to add that as a free gift. Then I'm going to go and adjust some of the other settings. If your product has multiple variants and you just select the product in here without specifying a certain variant ID in here, the widget will gift the first available variant. Then you're able to customize some of the other section uh, features like showing confetti whenever the customer clicks the button. Then you can adjust the text the pop-up has. You can select if you want to show the pop-up once per session or every time the cart reaches that threshold that you set. Then you can add a custom image if you want. Also, it shows the product image if you don't add an image in here and you can adjust the colors. Now, whenever my cart will reach $200, I'm gonna see a pop-up and it's gonna look something like this. And whenever I click this button, I am going to see the animation and the product will get sent to my cart. But as you can see, now it's not free. And that's because we need to go and set up a discount code, an automatic discount code that will give us this product as a gift whenever the cart reaches $200. To do that, I'm gonna go back to my store's dashboard and under discounts, I'm gonna create a new automatic discount. And in here, I'm gonna select the buy X, get Y discount. I'm gonna make it an automatic discount and I'm going to name it free wax. I'm gonna make this available for all the products on my store so I'm gonna select 
a specific collection and I'm going to select here a collection that includes the products that I want to include in this promotion. So I'm going to add that and underneath here I'm going to give one of specific product and I'm going to select the wax product here with all its variants. So I'm going to give one of this for free whenever the card reaches $200 and in the card we have products from this collection. Now depending on your situation you can adjust this settings as well. I'm not going to do anything else and I'm going to save this. Now that the discount code is created I'm going to go back to my store and I'm going to add this product again to my cart. And now I should see that pop up showing up saying that I can get the free wax. So I'm going to redeem this gift and I'm going to be sent to my card page with this product as a gift. You see it's zero and I'm going to be able to check out having this product as a gift. Now because this product has multiple variants it's going to give us the first available variant as a gift but if you want the customers to be able to select the gift they want from the list of this product's variants you're gonna just click on on this checkbox here and you're gonna save. Now whenever we're gonna see the pop-up it's going to have an option for us to select which of the variants we want as a gift and after selecting which one we want we're going to redeem that as a gift. We're going to see it in our cart and we're going to be able to check out with it. And if you want to give as a gift a certain variant, you're going to uncheck this and add the ID here. And that specific ID will become the gift. The second simple trick works hand in hand with the first one. And that is using a progress bar alongside your free gift offer. Just offering a free gift isn't enough if people don't see it. Putting a small announcement at the top of your page won't do the job. Most people won't even notice that. But guess what they will notice? Their shopping cart. When your customers see a progress bar in their cart that shows how close they are to getting free shipping or a free gift, it creates excitement. They are more likely to add more items to their cart just to reach that goal. It's a small thing but it has a big impact on sales. And the best part, you don't need an app for this one either. You can set up a progress bar on your theme using my snippet. You can find it on my website, see the link in the description. I'm gonna show you how you can display this progress bar at the top of your store in the card drawer or on your card page. This progress bar is a snippet and it has settings to change almost everything about it and whenever you reach the target you set this text will change to a success text. This can be used as a free shipping bar, it can be used as a free gift bar. So whenever you're gonna purchase this you're gonna get a file like this you're going to double click it and it's going to open in your browser and you're going to follow the steps that you have on here. If you want to preview the bar and see how it looks on our demo store, you can go in here and open it in a new window. I'm going to open it in incognito mode because I already added the password so that you can see you can add a password in here. The password is 1234 and you're going to enter and you're going to be able to see the bar at the top. If you're going to add multiple products and you're going to hit the target, you're going to see that the messaging is going to change like that. Congrats, you've unlocked free shipping. On the demo store, you're going to see the bar here on top. You're going to see it in the side cart and you're going to see it on the cart page. Here it is on the cart page. So let's go back and I'm going to show you how you can install it on your store. You're going to just scroll down and you're going to follow this instructions here. You're going to have to go to your store. If you don't want to work on your live theme, you can make a copy like I have here. I'm going to work on a copy theme. This theme doesn't have the bar installed yet. So I'm going to show you how you can do that on a fresh theme. If you're going to start with your live theme, you just go to the three dots next to the live theme and then click edit code. If you're going to start with a copy theme, you're going to go on that copy theme, click the three dots and click edit code. Once I'm here, I'm going to go and preview this theme so that I see what I'm doing when I'm changing things on, on this theme. And I'm going to close the previous one because that was the theme that had the progress bar already installed. Now let's go back to the instructions and inside the instructions, we see that we have to create a new snippet that is named Shopioso progress bar. I'm going to go on and close these tabs and go to the snippets tab, open that up and click add a new snippet. I'm going to paste in here the title that I want. Now I'm going to go back to the indications and scroll down and I see that I have to paste 
this code inside that snippet. So I'm going to copy it all, copy, and then I'm going to paste it in here. Then I'm going to make sure that I have here Shopioso progress bar and Shopioso progress bar in the beginning. And I'm going to save this. Now the snippet is in here. I'm going to go back to my indications page and I'm going to scroll down. In here it says that I have to search for settings and then go to the last curly bracket. I'm going to go back and search in here for settings and I'm going to open up the settings schema, not data, schema. And once you've opened that up, you're going to scroll down at the bottom. You're going to look for the last curly bracket, which is this one here. You're going to add a comma and then a new line. And on that new line, we're going to paste the code that we have here. I'm going to select it and copy all this. Just copy the code and then you're going to go back here and you're going to paste. It's going to end up like that. So whenever you have it pasted in there, you're going to just save and you should not get any error in here. If you, if you got an error, that means that you probably forgot to add a comma here where was the last bracket. So don't forget to add that in. Once we have this schema added, then we're going to go down below. And now I'm going to show you how to place the progress bar in the area that you want. Firstly, we have the area placed as an announcement bar at the top of the page. So I'm going to just select this and go and search for header. And in sections, you're going to have a header section and you're going to paste this code there. Then you're going to save. You should already see the progress bar at the top of your store. So this will show the bar everywhere on every page. You're going to just have it at the top there and it's going to be a good reminder for the customers that they can buy a bit more so that they can save on the shipping cost. Then let's say you want to add it on your card drawer. To do that, I'm going to go and follow the instructions. I'm going to take this part here. I'm going to go to search for cart drawer liquid. So in here, I'm going to search for cart drawer. This one here in snippets, I'm going to click on that and you're going to search for F cart exclamation point equal. So whatever is underneath here is going to be displayed whenever there are products in the cart. So I'm going to add a new line and paste my code in here. Then I'm going to save and I'm going to go back to my page and refresh. And whenever I open the card drawer, I should see a progress bar on top on there. Now, what if you want to go and add it to your cart page? Maybe you're using a cart page and you want to have your progress bar on here. Let's go back to the instructions. I'm going to copy this line here and I am going to search for main cart items. So I'm going to head to my theme files, cart items, and you're going to select this section, main cart items. Once inside the file, you're going to look for cart items tag, which is this one. And on top of that, you're going to paste the code that you've copied and you're going to save. And when you're going to refresh the page, you're going to have here the, the progress bar on top here and it's going to work the same way. Whenever you're going to add products to your cart, the progress bar will be filled. And whenever you remove them from cart, the progress bar will update. Now let's go and edit some settings for this progress bar. Inside the theme, you're going to go and hit this theme settings gear icon going to click on it and you're going to scroll down until you find the settings that we've just added. I'm going to close this up and you're going to look for Shopioso progress bar. Once you've found it, you're going to click on it and inside there you're going to see that there are some settings to adjust the text, the colors and everything about this progress bar. This is going to work with the currency of your store. Let me adjust this to 800 and add a couple of products to cart. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to have free shipping after 800. So I'm going to go and add some products to cart so that the, the bar fills. Now, as you add products to your cart, the bar is going to fill and at the end is going to show a success message, which you can find here. You can edit the beginning part of the text and the end part of the text. Then you can reshape it. You can give it different colors. You can 
Also remove this animation if you don't like the animation. So now it's gonna ju just be a uh, plain color. You can round the bar, you can make it taller, you can do all sorts of stuff with this progress bar. You can reduce the font size, you can make the font bold. You can play around with this settings until the progress bar looks as you want it. I've placed the progress bar at the top in the drawer and on the card page as an example. You don't need to do that, you can just include it inside your card drawer and I think that's enough or at the top like that but maybe styled with your store's colors and that would be a nice notice for the customer that they can hit that free shipping target or free gift target whatever you intend to do with this progress bar. Now let's go and connect the progress bar to the gift with purchase campaign and to do that I'm gonna go to customize and I'm going to click on the gear icon here and go down at the Shopioso progress bar where I'm going to change this target to 200 as per my discount code and as per my gift with purchase campaign. I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna change the text to say spend another and I'm gonna have the target here and then I'm going to change this to say to get a freeze key wax bar and the text updated there. Make sure that you update the success text as well so congrats you've unlocked the free ski wax bar now whenever i'm gonna hit that 200 target the pop-up will show let's just add one product to see the bar moving so i'm gonna go to this gift card and i'm gonna add the 50 dollar gift card in there and now the bar it's saying that i should add 150 dollars more to get a free ski wax bar i'm gonna go and i'm gonna add a 25 dollar gift card and now the bar updated and i need to add 125 dollars extra to get the free ski wax bar now if i add this product to the cart the pop-up with the free gift should show and i will be able to redeem it you have to give it a second before the pop-up shows because it has to evaluate your cart and once it shows you can redeem the gift and it's going to be added to your cart and you can go ahead and check out having that free gift inside your cart. When you're using these strategies make sure that the progress bar is easy for the customers to see and understand and if you're offering a free gift or free shipping make sure that they can get it easily and without complicated steps. Want to see how this can be achieved by using an app? Check out this video next.